sometimes they, what they need trimmed is this excess sticking off here. So I'm just going to take my clippers and just follow that line. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. And in today's video, we're going to talk about a topic that I get questions about all the time. Don't I, Bear? Why don't you come around the other side, Bear? Huh? You gonna help? So today we're gonna talk about goat hoof trimming, goat hoof maintenance. There's one tool you'll need, just a pair of, I call them nippers, they're just, they're just a little pair of trimmers for a goat hoof. They're super easy to do. The hardest part about trimming a goat's hoof is finding the right place to do it. I don't have a, a, a working chute where I can lock them in. Uh, a lot of people use like a milking stanchion. If you got dairy goats, you got a place to put them. They're used to getting up on that stanchion, gives you a good place to work. I just put a halter on them, tie them to a pole or a tree, and just work with it. Do it while they're standing up. But it's a super simple process. Now, like I've said multiple times on my channel, what bear? I have Kiko meat goats. Kikos are a super hardy goat. They rarely need their hooves trimmed. Matter of fact, I'm only doing this video because it's been so requested on our channel, but I almost never have to trim any of my goat's hooves. Um, I would recommend if, unless you're gonna be you know, in the, in the boar goats or something, they need their hooves trimmed quite a bit. And some of the dairy goats do too. But if you've got a goat that, that has foot problems, that's probably one you wanna cull. Um, it's important to keep their hooves in good shape because they will get overgrown and that hoof will, you know, sometimes will get lopsided. One side will get a lot longer than the other. And it can cause, you know, problems with their feet. It can cause them to limp and even, you know, down the line cause long-term health issues for them. But I've got Kiko goats. They rarely need their feet trimmed. This time of year, it's fall. We've been getting a lot of rain. Um, everything's just saturated and wet and muddy. And that's the time of year when you're going to have to watch your goat's feet. I gotta pay attention to bear just a little bit. Um, when it's wet and muddy like this, goats uh, don't have that hard ground to, to kind of wear that hoof down. You know, you guys know I have a huge rock pile back here. The goats are always on, they're always playing on it. That gives them something to kind of wear the hoof down. In the summertime, just on the hard ground, it kind of helps keep that, keep that hoof trimmed down, wore down a little bit. But in the fall when, when it's wet and muddy, or in the spring when it's real wet and muddy, um, goats can get can get mud and, and manure and things packed up in that hoof so you want to keep it trimmed keep that foot in good shape so you keep your goat good and healthy so bear and I are gonna go find a doe that needs a little bit of trimming done okay so I got my goat here she's she's tied to a pole I don't know if you guys can see that I just put a halter on her back up bear I know you're trying to protect your girl here but I just kind of tied her horns to the pole she's not being hurt she's not being strangled it's just her horns tied to the pole so i've got her foot here and this goat's a good example of a kiko doe what their foot should should look like this doe keep in mind this doe has never bear you're killing me son so keep in mind this doe has never had her feet trimmed so we'll go over a little bit about the hoof so as you may or may not know goats are a split hoofed animal meaning they've got two toes the, the white part here is what you call the pad. It's kind of soft and squishy. And then the hoof grows just like your fingernail. So you can see it grows around that pad. And what'll happen with a goat, sometimes they, what they need trimmed is this excess sticking off here. So I'm just gonna take my clippers and just follow that line. It just, you can go right like, basically you can go right under that fingernail and just trim it off just like that. And you can see how mud manure can build up under that hoof. So we're just gonna trim up both sides. Kinda get that toe nice and clean. And we're just following, easy mama. As you can see, we're just following the natural hoof line. Really simple process. It is 100% pain free. You're not gonna hurt the goat at all. Now, if you go too far, obviously it's just like your fingernails. You can get down into the quick. And clearly you, you don't want to do that intentionally. You want to stay right at that pad. Just go down to that pad level. Keep them nice and, and uh, neat, trimmed together, same, same size. Like this little toe right here may need a little more trimming on the inside. And that's going to keep that mud and debris and stuff from getting under there and getting nasty. 
Um, if you trim a little too far and you get down, you'll get down into the quick, it'll bleed just a little bit. So it's not a bad idea to keep something like some iodine or something to where if you actually accidentally trim down a little too far, and then you can just put a little iodine on it. But that's all there is to it. Super simple process. Just a nice little set of clippers. So as I said, it's a super simple process. Just buy you a decent set of goat hoof trimmers. I bought these on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Um, it's a really easy process. Don't overthink it. But as I said earlier, always remember, if you've got a goat that's got one foot that's always needing trimmed or one toe that tries to curl under the other one, because trust me, some goat's feet will get really, really bad. They'll get really nasty. Just go ahead and cull that doe because that's not what you want in your herd. You want good quality hooves so that goat can get out and do her thing, not get crippled and lame and all that. So let's uh, switch the camera around and check out that other foot real quick. <laughs> So this is an extra step that's not necessary. You don't have to wash their foot off first. Woo! Don't get me all muddy, mama. Since she's uh, since she's kind of muddy, I want you guys to be able to see this a little better. So we're gonna go ahead and clean her foot up a little bit. All right, so as you can see, her, her hoof is actually in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of growth that needs to be taken off, but not a lot. It's really very minimal. Her toes, both uh, both of her toes are, are, are pretty symmetrical. Sometimes you'll see, like I said, one will get overgrown. You'll have one, one toe that's, that's hoof is sticking out a lot farther than the other. So let's go ahead and trim this hoof. Just gonna follow that natural line of the pad. And it's a good idea to take the, the tip of your, your nippers and kind of clean that out so you can really see where, where the pad starts and the nail, you know, like basically their toenail ends. So it allows you to see that. You can get under there. Easy, mama. You can get under there and just trim that excess out and keep that toe nice and straight. Let's make the other one match. There we go. That's all there is to it. So like I said, it's as simple as that. It's really not difficult to trim a goat's hooves. Just get you a decent set of, of, of sharp clippers to clip their, their toes, clip their, uh, their hooves, keep them trimmed back. Like I said, it's very important that you keep that mud and dirt from building up under if you got a, a fold over on that hoof. Um, you don't want a, a, an infection to start in there. Don't don't overthink it guys. Just get out there trim them a little bit if you feel like you're going too far Just back off. Don't trim them as far. It's really super simple. There's not a lot to it guys I hope that answers your question. I hope that helps you out. I've had multiple people ask me about trimming hooves And like I said, it's not something if you get a good herd if you cull your herd the right way get a good quality goats You really won't have to trim their hooves a lot some breeds need it more than others if you get Kiko's or Spanish goats they rarely, if ever, need their hooves trimmed. So, something to think about. Just depends on your, your personal goals for your herd. What is it, Bear? You do a great job. Everybody loves you. You know that, Bear? Well, guys, if you have any other questions about uh, goat health and maintenance, I'll do my best to answer them if I can. If you have a video suggestion, leave it down in the comment section below if there's something you want me to address, if there's something I'm missing out. Guys, if you've not seen our playlist on goat health and maintenance, or goat care and maintenance, be sure and check that out. We're getting quite a big playlist of, of goat care videos. Barry, you do such a great job. I sure like you. Anyways, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We'd sure appreciate it. Bear likes to see how many people want to follow and watch him, don't you, Bear? So, that's all we got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps. Y'all have a great day, and as always, we'll see you on the next video. Huh, Bear? You say goodbye? <laughs>